here we are at Biennestito. It's the beginning of December, so we've passed through all the excitement of harvest, and uh, now's the time when we're kind of winding down and putting the vineyard to bed, uh, hopefully through the winter. And one of the things we hope does happen and is happening now is getting some rain, getting some water back in the vines after they've been stressed through uh, a couple months of trying to just push them to the edge. Uh, as you see here, we're getting wet. Things are, are looking green. Uh, and that's time for it to happen, not during harvest, now. One of the first things we're able to move into right after harvest is we come back and start to prune the vines. So if you kind of see where we are here versus a couple rows down, this is the, the younger vines we've already been able to move through. And we'll come back at a later point and go ahead and tie these canes. Uh, right now. We're just looking to take off all the big stuff. As we move more of our acreage into both biodynamic and organic means of farming, we need to enlist the help of more friends. And so as you see down here, we've got some sheep that are helping us this time of year. This allows us to um, keep from having to do as many passes with equipment, which of course causes compaction uh, in the vineyard, but you know, it's also a lot of fun to have these guys now roaming around down here. One of the important parts about maintaining a healthy vineyard is also to see what's going on between the vines. What I'm talking about here is the cover crop. What we're doing right now is going ahead and disking in between. What that's doing is uh, by ripping up the dirt, we get to kind of incorporate the organic matter, and it's really the first step in a three-part uh, process of laying down the cover crop. So after we go through and, and disc everything up, then we have uh, the second step come through. Then we'll really prepare a nice bed for the ultimate step of putting the seeds in. So after everything's been ripped up, now we're going through and kind of smoothing it all down. Finally, with the soil all ripped up and a nice bed made, we have this going back through to actually lay down the seeds. What this will do is return nitrogen to the soil, which is very important when you've got such sandy soil like this. 